Hi guys, this is Senna. Um, so I wanted to make a video about um, magical names um, because I, I, I'm sure you know that Senna Wales is not my, my real name. Um, it's a name I've gone by for a very, very long time, like I've, like I've said in the past. Um, since I was a little kid, I got it from a book. Um, but there is an actual way to choose uh, magical names. Um, because sometimes people just like to have a name that they feel more spiritually attached to than the name that their parents assigned to them at birth. Um, and I feel like Senna is definitely that name for me. It's, it's, um, it's definitely my real name in the aspect of, of spiritually. Um, Senna Wales, when I was starting Wales, I wasn't really sure about, even though, yes, that is the, sorry if I'm, I'm adjusting my camera. Um. When I, when I was thinking about, you know, making a YouTube channel when I was, when I was, um, starting to do my year and a day and stuff and, and dedicating myself or thinking about my dedication and whatnot, um, I thought about names and, and I was like, oh, Santa Wales, like, if I do YouTube videos, I really want to be known as Santa Wales, like, Wales, I mean, I like Wales, there's nothing wrong with Wales, but, um, yeah, I wasn't sure. I was thinking maybe I'd change it up a bit or something. But um, there was this really cool way to find out what your magical name is or what your magical name, if a name is compatible with you in in, in, in such thing. And it's it's, numer it's numerology. It's called numerology. It's a way to do it, to figure it out, to find out um, if a name is could be your magical name, if it's more destined to be. And it just so happened that Senna Wales actually matched up perfectly using numerology. Um, to me, not just Senna, I was just going to do Senna, um, but Senna itself didn't, but Senna Wales matched up perfectly, which is funny because my name, uh, and you have to use your full name first, middle, last, birth name that you were assigned, my full name matched up with Senna Wales, and this makes no sense right now, but I will explain in a moment. I tried to um, shoot this video already once, but my phone died, so I'm going to try to do this again. I've kind of crudely drawn up um, what I had seen in this book, and I've seen it online a few times too, um, the way the numerology works. So I'll show you that. I don't know how well you can see in this lighting, and I'm sorry. Um, but, okay, so what you have is the numbers 1 through 9. Okay, and it only goes up to nine. We don't do, it doesn't go to double digits. It's just one through nine. And then you assign starting from A, the alphabet. So you have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I to nine. And then when, when you get to nine, you go back down to one. J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. And you go back down to one. S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, it stops at eight. There is a ninth one. Um, so say your name was Jill. You would assign a num. You, you're gonna you're gonna get the numbers of your name. So J would be one, and I would be nine, and then L would be three. So it'd be one nine three three. That would be Jill one nine three three. And now you're going to take those numbers one nine three three, and you're going to add them together. And the the um, number that you end up with is your destiny number. Now if that number is above nine. You then add those two digits together to get a smaller number until you're under nine. Um, so you're reducing the number to the lowest possible number, if that makes any sense. And I'll show you, I don't have my actual real name written on here, but I'll show you my numerology name and how I did it and how Santa Wales matched up perfectly. So um, here we have uh, my first, middle, and last name. So my first name was 11835978, and I added those together, 1 plus 1, plus 8, plus 3, plus 5, plus 9, plus 7, plus 8, and that equaled 42. So then you add 4 and 2, so I got the number 2. So my first name's number is 2. And then I did the middle name. And oh my gosh, I have to read this backwards. It's 4938535. So I added 4938535 and 4 plus 9 plus 3 plus 8 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5 equal 37. And then you add 3 and 7 equal 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. If it's making any sense. Um, I'm, it, this is feeling like math class. I know a little bit. I'm sorry. Um, but this is what it showed me. Um, so it's 1. And then my last name. 
uh, two, five, 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 nine, two, seven, two, six, five. So I added all those together and I got 51. Five plus one is six. So now I have six. Yeah, that's a six, not a two. I'm sorry. Six, um, one and six. So that'd be 13. And since 13 is above nine, you add three plus one is four. So you're going to, Mine would be 13 slash 4, and that's my destiny number is 13 slash 4, because my destiny number is 13, but because it is above 9, um, you would add those together to reduce it to the smallest amount, so it's 4, so it's 13 or 4, whatever. Um, so I tried to do Senna Whale, so I did Senna, and that was 1, 5, 5, 5, 1, which equals 17, 7 plus 1 equaled 8, um... And that obviously did not match that. And then I was like, hmm, I wonder. And I put whales on there. And I've, like I said, I've always used Son of Whales. This is a name that I, that I started using when I was really, really, really little. Got it out of a book. I've just been using it forever for my avatars on video games, Call of Duty, um, everything. I'm always Son of Whales. Um, so I added whales on there. And it was 581351, which equaled 23. So 2 plus 3 is 5. And 8 and 5 is 13. And, of course, 13 is above 9, so 3 plus 1 is 4. So, Sun of Whales actually matched up perfectly to the destiny number for Sun of Whales. Actually matched up exactly to my destiny number of my full name. And obviously, as you can tell how many numbers there are in here, I have a very long name. Very long first name, very long middle name, very long last name. Um, both all above 8 eight letters each um and it Senna whales is short and simple and it still somehow added up to the same exact one and that's how I decided that I was going to use Senna whales even though I wasn't sure about the whales part because I'm like oh it could be something cooler like um silver raven wolf you know hers is so cool sounding like why can't it be like seven Senna wolf or seven Senna something I don't know something else other than a whale um, but I, you know, it's a name I've used since as long as I can possibly remember. And I, I don't know why I use it. I just always have. I pulled it from a book when I was probably like eight or nine. Um, maybe even younger than that. And I've used it on World of Warcraft for as long as I can remember. I used it on Call of Duty. I have email addresses that there are sent whales at blah, 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 dot com. And, um, it just so happened that that name and my name have the same destiny number. And so that's how you find out your magical name. If you're thinking of a magical name and you're sitting there. And so you do your numerology and you find out your destiny number. Which would be the number reduced to the smallest amount added of all of your numbers. Added together from your first, middle, and last birth name. Now if you're married, use your birth name. Not your married name. Use your birth name. Because um, I am married and I use my birth name. Um, so, um, and you do that and you find your destiny number. And then if you're thinking like you like the name Dragon Fluttershy, I don't know. Um, or you like the name Esmeralda, um, and you would go and find the destiny number for Esmeralda. And if that matched up to yours, then that would be a really good name to use because I don't really know. I don't really have an answer to that. Because I don't quite understand num numerology yet. Um, um, there's a book on it that I, I saw at Barnes & Noble today. I went to Barnes & Noble and I bought a new book, by the way, which I'm super excited for. Wake Up the Beginners by Tia Sabin. I have been um, told to read this book by many, many people. Um, so I'm going to read it. Um, but anyways, when I was there, I saw a whole book on numerology. And I was already writing this up for this video tonight. And I was super excited. I'm like, oh, so I can like get more in detail into it later on with you guys. To kind of actually explain what a destiny number is and why it matters. But I thought it was totally cool that my name, my whole first name and last name, the long name that I have, matched up the destiny number with such a short name that I've been using my whole life. And that just, that was a sign for me that, okay, obviously Santa Wales is my true name. It's who I am. Um, it's what I've always used. If someone called it out in a store, I'd turn around and be like, huh? What? Me? Yeah, because it's, I've always used, I've always used that name. I, um, 
I have no idea why. It's just so weird that it stuck with me for so long. And my mom is the same way. She um she played she's a gamer too. I'm a, I'm a family of gamers, and she's always used the name Miranda. She got it as well from a book, and all of her characters and all of her video games, World of Warcraft, you know, whatever she plays, she always is Miranda. And um, she's got email addresses under the name Miranda. And like when I hear the name Miranda, I think of my mom. Um, and that's not her birth name. That's just a name she pulled from a book a long time ago and she's used ever since. And um, I believe that that's her true name maybe, you know. It, just because your parents assigned you a name at birth does not mean that's what your true name is. Um, now you don't have to go by this. Um, I just thought this was a neat way to do it if you're trying to find a rhyme or reason to picking a um magical name if you just want to pick whatever whatever name you feel you feel in your heart and your desire that that's your true name by all means use that name because your gut feeling is is really what you should go with anyways when it comes to anything in wicca your gut feeling is what you should go with um especially your name something that you're going to be telling people hey this is my name um but I just, I thought I really want to share that with you guys because I thought that was so cool. I actually shared that with my husband for the first time today too. I've never told anybody that, that my real name and my magical name somehow, it, it amazes me because I have so many letters in my full name and it's just Senna Wales is such a short name as opposed to my whole name and they have the exact same destiny number and that just... For me, was like okay, yep, that's it. I'm gonna go by. Sen I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going by Senna Wales because um, I know in the past I've I've for characters online and stuff I use Senna Winchester because um, my favorite TV show on planet Earth is Supernatural, um, and I use the last name Winchester in a lot of things. Um, and I was like, well, maybe I'll go by Senna Winchester, but um, that's a really popular show right now. I've been watching it since it came out. Uh, 10 years ago. I've been watching that show for 10 years and I'd, recently it's gotten a lot of attention from people and it's got, gotten kind of mainstream. You can go into Hot Topic and buy stuff from them. So I didn't really want to use the last name Winchester because people will automatically be like, they'll either think of the gun or they will think of Supernatural and they're like, oh, you got that from Supernatural. You know, I didn't really want to pull something from something well known. And um, like I said, the book that I got my name, my actual name from, I don't even remember what it was called. I I have no idea. I, I barely remember details of it. I just remember that it was very mythological and it was really cool. And I mean, she got kidnapped in the beginning by and sucked into this like alternate universe. And there was, there were like gods and goddesses and Loki was there. And there was some god that was ripping people's heads off. I don't know. It was a really cool book. I was air nine when I was reading this, by the way. My parents let me read whatever I want. I'm a bookworm. Uh... Yeah, so that's where I got my name from, um, and it just so happened to match up. But if, if you want to do the numerology thing, really look more into it. But like I said, it's really simple. Um, just one through nine, you know, assign A, B, C, D, E, F, G as you go along, just like I did. Um, if you can see that. Yeah, just like that. I know my writing sucks, but, um, you know, and then just add your numbers together. For your first, middle, and last name. I don't know if you can see that either. I'm sorry. And then um, add those numbers together and reduce it down to the smallest number you can. And then um, and, and then try, test it with a few different magical names. And if your magical name doesn't match up, you could always kind of maybe change the spelling a little bit. Like, um, um, I don't know if that's how Piper got her name on Piper's channel. I know I, know I mentioned Piper a lot. I'm sorry. Uh, but she's my favorite. Um, but her name isn't P-I-P-E-R. It's P-Y-P-E-R-H, which is totally different spelling of the name Piper. I've never seen that before. That's amazing. I really like the way that's spelled. And um, maybe she got it doing something like this. I don't know. I don't... I've never heard her say it or anything. Um, but I know she doesn't really go by her magical name either. Um, but I do go by my, my magical name. I have something in my eyeball. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, so I just want to share that with you guys. That's a cool kind of way to, to find your magical name if you want to. If, you, if you're thinking of names, just kind of mess around and, and find one that you like. And if it matches your destiny number, then that's that's just something cool. Um, I don't 
really under have a full understanding of what the destiny number means. I think that just that just means because it's your full birth name. That's that's your number. That's that's you in numerology form. I, I don't know. I guess everybody has a number in numerology form, and that's how you find it out is through that method. Um, like I said, I'll read more into it. I will get that book from Barnes and Noble as soon as I have the money to. Um, and, uh, yeah. And maybe we'll go into more depth of, of what numerology is and how to use it. And, um, but that's just how I got my name. If you were wondering, cause Senna Wales is kind of a unique, kind of weird name. It's not, I've seen a lot of magical names and they're usually really cool sounding. Like they're like, like I said, I see a lot of dragon something or wolf something or other, or just really pretty flowy sounding names. And Senna Wales to me is not very flowy sounding. Um, it doesn't sound like a name of a magical princess or, or a goddess or something, but um, Senna is definitely, has always been my name. As long as, like I said, I can remember, I've always gone by Senna. I've had friends call me Senna. I've, I've known people that do not know my real name. They just call me Senna. Um, and you guys don't know my real name, so you know me by Senna. So, it, I mean, it's important. Your magical name, if you choose to have a magical name, is an important thing to think about. And, and you're choosing that name is important. Don't just choose a name on a whim. Um... Make sure it resonates with you and, and, and it feels true to you because, I mean, yeah, you can change your mind later on, but once people know you as that name, that's your name, you know, it's going to be kind of hard for you to be like, oh yeah, no, I don't go by that anymore. I go by this now, you know, make sure you put some actual thought into it and the numerology thing kind of helps out in that and, and kind of sets it in stone of, okay, this is definitely that's something that's going to work with me because it, it matches up with my name, my real name. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what I wanted this video to be about. I know I, I, I still am really sure how to end these videos. I just kind of like go and then I'm like, uh, yeah, now I'm done. So, you know, I'm not really sure how to end them yet. I'm just trying to fit as many videos as, uh, in as I can right now because, like I said, for the next couple of weeks, I don't know when I'm going to be able to record or if I'm going to be able to record at all. Um, I might record on my lunch breaks at work or maybe when I'm in the car. I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to at all. So if you don't hear from me for the next two or three weeks, it's because uh, I have a family member coming into town who isn't really comfortable with this whole thing. So um, most of this will be packed away and you know, it, when they're not home, yeah, sure. Maybe I'll pull out my camera and I'll, I'll make a little video, but you're not going to have the cool witchy background that you have right now. Cause a lot of this is going on and my candles are staying out cause I still need to meditate. Okay. Whether people feel comfortable with it or not, I still need to do my meditations for my anxiety reasons. But, um, most of all the other obviously witchy things are going to be going in a box. I'm sad about, but I'm super excited for the book I got. Super excited! I haven't bought a witchy book in a very, very long time. And it was $12 and I just had to have it. And a lot of it is basic stuff that I already know. But, like, you can never reread basic stuff, you know, like uh, too many times. You, you, the basics are, are the basics, the foundation of, of the religion, of the spirituality. And um, it's nice to see different perspectives from different people. Um, and I did see the Idiot's Guide to Witcha, blah, Wicca and Witchcraft while I was there, the one that I had said that I found at the library. Um, it was actually at Barnes & Noble, so yeah, go get that one, because that one is awesome. And it gives you little things to do, little... Um, you know, stuff to try out here and there, and it's really, really informative, and it's great, but I'd like to get another, um, perspective on it from somebody, you know, so this is gonna be my next one, and I, I'll write a review on this one as soon as I'm done. I'm sure I'll have my nose stuck in it all week, and this has now been an almost 20-minute long video, and I really didn't mean it to, so I'm sorry, but, uh, yeah, so magical names, you know, if it's something you decide you want to do, um, definitely take the time to look into it and look into numerology. It's really cool once you do. Like I said, I don't know much about it, but I am I'm gonna get that book. I saw it. I had a hard time putting it back on the shelf. A very hard time. I wanted to pick it up. It was in my hands, and I just I wanted it, but I was flipping through. I'm sitting there, and I'm holding the other one, and I keep doing this 
with this one. And when I, when I tend to do this with the book, it means I want it. It means I need it. And I do, I do that all the time with my book of shadows. You'll see me in my videos flipping the pages. If I'm doing this, I feel a connection to it. If I'm flipping it, it's mine. There's, it's not going back on the shelf. And I was doing it with this one and I can only buy one book today. So I bought this one. Um, but I will do a review on that as soon as I'm done reading it. Um, let y'all know how it goes and how it's like, uh, if it's worth the read or whatnot. So, uh, thank you for seeing through my 20 minute video, uh, about something I really didn't have a whole lot of information about, but, um, you know, at least I kind of explained the basics of it so you can do it yourself and then go Google it and get more information on it and maybe inform me more about it. Cause I really, I don't know much about numerology at all. I know nothing that I just got that from a book and that's how I found out that the name I've been using is my magical name. So yeah, but uh, I might film another video tonight. I don't know. It's getting kind of late. I, I should do meditation, but um, I don't know. I've been itching to do videos. So thank y'all for sitting through this. I really, I really appreciate it. My rambling. My, I know it's not awesome to just stare at my face for 20 minutes, but uh, so I'll see you guys in uh whenever my next video is and uh thank you for watching i appreciate it my views have spiked up since piper uh posted my video on her channel so thank you so much piper really it's it's kind of awesome to see people watching my videos and commenting um it's really surreal for me like really because I don't know. I just feel like I'm kind of nobody. So to, for someone to, to watch my video, take time out of their day, it's kind of awesome. So thank you guys for watching. I really, I really appreciate it. I really do. It, it, it gives me a confidence boost like no other. So um, I'll see you guys soon and you have a good night or day wherever you are. Uh, blessed be. Bye.